Next, we have this problem. A joint is made by gluing two plywood gussets of thickness T, which are the following, to the wooden boards, which are the two. And so let's label these. This is our plywood gusset, and this is our wood board. Now, we are given the tensile working stresses, which are 1200 PSI for the plywood and 700 PSI for the boards. And so the allowable stress for the plywood is 1200 PSI and then for the wood board, it's only 700 PSI. And then we are also given the working shear stress for the glue, which is 50 PSI. And so tau for the glue equals 50 PSI. Now if you will consider our glue, it's actually in double shear because we are gluing this one and also this one. And so if we will make a cut at that section, then we have double shear because this will have a resisting force of V and also this one. So this is double shear. And then also be careful here because the tensile working stress of 1200 PSI is for the plywood. Now for the plywood, we don't just use P directly because if we make a cut here, then the plywoods will only carry half of the load. And so if we will redraw that, we have this one. This is our cut section. And so if we will sum up forces horizontal, then this will be P over 2 and also this one. I hope this is clear. Now again, this is for the plywood. And so if we are to make an equation defining this one, we have an allowable stress of 1200 PSI. And so again, stress is equal to force over area. So this is 1200 pounds per square inch equals the force which is P over 2 divided by the area which is the perpendicular area. Now, if we will view this from the side, we will actually see this figure. This is the plywood and then this is the wooden board and this is another plywood. And so recall that for actual stress, we need the perpendicular area. Now this is our perpendicular area. This has a thickness of T and then this is 5.75 inches. I hope this is clear. And then by the way, the thickness of the wood board is actually given. This is 1.75 inches. I apologize I wasn't able to write this. And so now that we have this, we know that this is 1.75 inches. And so this brown area is just 1.75 times 5.75. Now since this is for the plywood, our area will be T times 5.75. However, our P is still unknown. And so we will get that using the wooden board. Now for the wood board, our stress is limited to 700 PSI. And so this is 700 pounds per square inch equals P because this is the tensile force for the wood board divided by the area which is 1.75 times 5.75. And so now we will be able to solve P. We have 700 is equal to X divided by 1.75 times 5.75 and so that's 7043.75 and then this is pounds now substituting this here we can solve t now this will be 7043.75 and so we have 1200 is equal to 7043.75 divided by 2 over thickness times 5.75 and so our thickness will be 0 0.510 inches so t is equal to 0 0.510 and then inches now that we have t we can now solve b however to solve b we will actually consider the shearing stress now recall that for shear stress we are interested in the parallel area now again, this is our glue, and so this portion is the area parallel to P. Now what is that area? It's actually this area, because this is the parallel area, and then if we'll view it from the top, this is our area of interest. However, the shear stress is actually not experienced at the top. It's actually experienced at the bottom. However, this is just the same area if we'll project it. Now what is this area? This is just B multiplied by 5.75 because it's this dimension and so considering shear we have 50 psi and then that's equal to the force divided by the area now take note that this is in double shear and so we have two resisting areas so this is two times b multiplied by 5.75 and then the p that we'll use is 7043.75 so this is also 7043.75 and so we have 50 is equal to 7043.75 divided by 2 times B times 5.75. And so our B will be 12.25 inches. These are our answers.